in a significant development for public sector employees. Minister of Finance and the Public Service, Dr. Nigel Clark, has announced the next phase of the comprehensive review of compensation for those in public service. The review follows phase one, which focused on the salary scale. During this phase, the government committed to a substantial increase in public sector compensation, totaling $200 billion between the 2021 to 22 and the 2024 to 25 fiscal years. Dr. Clark made the disclosure while addressing the Jamaica Civil Service Association's 105th annual general meeting. We engage in the only restructuring of compensation in Jamaica's history over the past three fiscal years. There is absolutely no precedent anywhere in the world that we can find for a country engaging in a wholesale restructuring of compensation across all arms of government at the same time. Other countries that we have looked at did it Teachers first, nurses second, police, civil service, and it takes 10 years. That's how other countries have done it. But because of our own historical experience, where it started previously and then stopped, we had to do it differently. Also addressing the JCSA's 105th annual general meeting, Prime Minister Andrew Holness has reiterated the government's commitment to bolster the country's security infrastructure by making strategic investments to ensure a safer environment for all citizens. The strategic investments include the improved protection of the island's coasts. This crime is high, but the fact is we are now reaping the benefits of our investment in security, where we are seeing major crimes going down and murders starting to attenuate. We're not at the point where we want to be, but we're starting to see the results of the investment. I, I make a quick point as I talk about crime and violence. There are some challenges which will emerge, which we cannot foresee. The challenge with our neighbor, Haiti, next door. When we made the investments in offshore patrol vessels, radars, and other technology to protect our borders, we weren't thinking about Haiti and uh, the possible migration from Haiti. We were thinking about interdicting drugs and guns coming through our exclusive economic zone. But as it has turned out, that investment is paying significant dividend. We are able to detect, we are able to deter, we are able to repatriate very quickly. And that is the benefit and dividends of the investment in security.